Determine the point at which the graph has a horizontal tangent line. So let's say if we're given a function x cubed minus 6x squared plus 15. How can we determine at which point this particular graph will have a horizontal tangent line? Well, let's draw a rough sketch, not of this function, but just of some generic function. So let's say if we have a function that looks like that. A tangent line touches the curve only at one point. Now, so this, for example, would be a tangent line. It touches it only at one point. A secant line touches the curve at two points. Now, we want a horizontal tangent line. And that occurs at a maximum or a minimum. So these two would be a horizontal tangent line. Now what you need to know is that the slope of any horizontal line is zero. So therefore, to find a point at which the graph has a horizontal tangent line, we need to find the first derivative and set it equal to zero, because that's when the slope of the curve will be zero. And then we need to solve for x. So let's begin by finding the first derivative. The derivative of x cubed is 3x squared, and the derivative of x squared is 2x, and the derivative of the constant 15 is 0. So f prime of x is equal to 3x squared minus 12x. Now, because we're dealing with the horizontal tangent line, we need to set this equal to 0, since the slope has to be 0. And now we need to calculate the value of x. So let's factor out the GCF, which is 3x. 3x squared divided by 3x is x. And negative 12x divided by 3x is negative 4. So now let's set each factor equal to 0. Here, if we divide by 3, we can see that x is equal to 0. And if we add 4 to both sides, x is equal to 4. So the two points are 0 and 4. That's where the horizontal tangent lines will occur. Now, sometimes you may need to write your answer as an ordered pair. So let's calculate the y values that correspond to these two x values. So let's evaluate f of 0. This is going to be 0 cubed minus 6 times 0 squared plus 15. And that's equal to 15. So the first ordered pair has a x value of 0 and a y value of 15. Now for the second one, let's replace x with 4. 4 to the third power, that's 4 times 4 times 4, that's 64. 4 squared is 16. And if we add 64 and 15, that's going to be 79. 6 times 16 is 96, and the difference between 79 and 96, that's 17. So this is going to be negative 17. So we have the point 4 comma negative 17. So these are the locations of the horizontal tangent line, or the point at which the graph has a horizontal tangent line. Now let's work on one more problem. Let's say if f of x is 4x cubed minus 7x squared minus 6x plus 4. So go ahead and find the points at which this function has a horizontal tangent line. So if we follow the same procedure, we need to find the first derivative and set it equal to 0. The derivative of x cubed is 3x squared, and the derivative of x squared is 2x. The derivative of x is 1, and the derivative of a constant is always 0. So f prime of x is equal to 12x squared, 7 times 2 is 14, and minus 6. So let's set this equal to 0. So how can we factor this particular trinomial in order to calculate x? One of the first things we should do is take out the GCF, which is 2. 12x squared divided by 2 is 6x squared. Negative 14x divided by 2 is negative 7x. And negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3. 
Now, what do you think we need to do at this point? So let's focus on factoring 6x squared minus 7x minus 3. We could ignore the 2 for now. If we want to, we could divide both sides by 2, because 0 divided by 2 is still 0. So that will disappear. And now we have this expression. If you need to factor a trinomial where the leading coefficient is not 1, multiply the leading coefficient by the constant term. 6 times negative 3 is negative 18. Now, we need to find two numbers that multiply to negative 18, but add to the middle coefficient, negative 7. So this is going to be negative 9 and 2. Negative 9 plus 2 is negative 7, but negative 9 times 2 is negative 18. Now let's replace negative 7x with negative 9x and positive 2x. And then we need to factor by grouping. So in the first two terms, take out the greatest common factor, which is going to be 3x. 6x squared divided by 3x is 2x. Negative 9x divided by 3x is negative 3. Now for the last two terms, there is no GCF to take out. So we have to take out a 1 and we will be left with 2x minus 3. Now we need to factor out the GCF again, which is 2x minus 3. So if we take it out of this term, we're left with 3x, and if we take it out of that term, we're left with positive 1. So now we have a completely factored expression. So let's set each factor equal to 0. So let's add 3 to both sides. So we have 2x is equal to 3, and then let's divide by 2. So the first point is at 3 over 2. For the next one, let's subtract both sides by 1, and then let's divide by 3. So the second point is at negative 1 third. So those are the points where the horizontal tangent line touches the curve. You could find a y-coordinates if you want to, but I'm going to stop here. So that's it for this video.